Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the first edition of T3 Technology Tips with Tim for the 2021-22 school year. Uh, let's go ahead and hop right into things here. For our uh, new people that have never been involved with our T3 videos, uh, the way it works is I will share some resources. Uh, during the video, I'll share a secret word. Uh, when you go ahead and uh, I share the information to Tuesday Times, you go ahead and reply back to me what the secret word is, and your name goes into a hat for a uh, prize for that month. And then also every time you do submit uh, the secret word and it's correct, your name gets put into a hat at the end of the school year for a bag of goodies. So that's kind of a grand prize. So all you need to do is just watch the video uh, again. Then you just go ahead and reply back to me about what the secret word is and you get your name and a hat to win some goodies. So hope you'll go ahead and participate. Uh, for uh, this first one this year, what I want to do is just go to our, our portal. And we ask that you go there really to access um, basically everything. And uh, what happens is, you know, we share resources. And sometimes we just kind of forget about them, especially if we've had them for a while. Uh, so, for example, the first one I want to share here is Discovery Education. We've been trying to push the use of discovery education for one thing or, or secondary science teachers have their access, uh, excuse me, have their textbook now via discovery education, but they have really added a lot more content, um, not only for your students, but also content related to instructional strategies, professional learning. So it's, it's very, very rich. They've also added some coding activities. Uh, there's just a lot of content on here. Now I've already logged in. You're just logging using Google. Uh, there's many things again I can show you, and I'll be sh uh, showing you more things later uh, throughout the year. But the one I want to emphasize now here is this has this exploring activity. So I'm going to click on it. And hard to believe, but pretty soon it's actually going to be uh, October. We have about 10 days left here in September. But uh, they have this nice little activity calendar, and this one actually is for grades 6 to 8. Now, here, this is for 3, 5, and this is for K2. So if I go ahead and click on this, what it does, it should bring me up a calendar and you have various activities for each day that are applicable to this grade range. So for example, here's background builder on cells. It's a science activity. So if I click on it, it brings me to studio and it just takes me through, okay, the learning activity here and the format of it can, can look different from one resource to another. This has to be a a slide deck. A lot of times you have videos embedded, etc. Uh, so again, I logged into Studio. As soon as I got there, there's a little Explore Activities button, uh, and it got me this uh, page here. Notice that you can filter out by grade level. You can click whether you want uh, the Experience, the Science Tech Book, or also there's Health Resources. So there's a lot of things here that you can uh, do to filter down your content when you're searching for something. Okay, uh, the other thing I want to point out, and again, I think some people have totally forgot about, it, is the Go Open Virginia. It's the uh, open educational resources that the Commonwealth DOE has been putting together for some years now. So if you looked at it last year, when it first came out a couple of years ago, uh, be aware that there's a lot more content on here. And when you go to it, what's really nice is, you know, you can just do a nice little search or filter out right here by these buttons. So you can put in a topic, you can actually go to a specific subject, you can go to an education level, and what's nice is they have everything lined up according to our standards. So that's always a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna go to science standards here. All right, and let me go ahead and just go ahead and choose science. Let's go to education level middle school and let's do a search. And very similar to discovery education, what you'll find here could be resources, could be uh, lesson plans, all right, Jeopardy activity. Okay, so there's a lot of different things here that we may come up when it comes to searching for content. So, again, be aware of this. It, we have it integrated within Schoology. Discovery Education is integrated within Schoology, but you can also use it as standalone. Um, your uh, students can have accounts in Discovery Education. So it's two great resources. This one totally free. We pay for Discovery Education. But I hope you take time to go ahead and use it. 
All right, and then the last uh, thing I want to share with you here is obviously Google is our primary resource when it comes to tools and application. Here's a nice little document called here, Google A to Z, Google Tools, Extension Programs and Courses. Now it's very comprehensive, so uh, I'm gonna be pulling out and talking about specific things throughout the year, but I just wanna go ahead and share this document with you now because it's really great. It gives you links to all kinds of apps and tools. Some of these I've covered years ago, uh, so some of them are still available. Again, you may have forgot about them, but there's all kinds of great resources on this document. So uh, make sure you check this out as well. And again, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, send out a link to this whenever I declare who the winner is uh, for this week. All right, I went ahead and went into the end of the video to share the secret word. And let's go ahead and use the word portal, portal, since I showed two resources out of our portal. All right, so that's the secret word. Again, hope you learned a little bit from this video and uh, everybody, hope everyone's having a great school year. Take care.